TV, and then we are hosting IWC uh, San Bernardino here in California in the United States of America. Our joy is full today because we are celebrating the Savior of the world. We call it Jesus Celebration. Amen. So it's part of our Jesus Celebration. We've made a little album, Christmas album, that we'll be playing for you to enjoy. I think the church choir sang it, you know, for to celebrate Jesus. So every year, by the grace of God, we shall be having a Christmas uh, program will be Jesus Celebration. And I think it's worth all the celebrations. So with me in the studio today is uh, Evangelist Elder Mrs. Esther Are, one of our elders in the church here. Amen. 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 You're welcome. Uh. Thank you, sir. Amen. Also, we have Reverend Mrs. Olayeni Arolo. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you, sir. Amen. That's my wife. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we all welcome to the studio today. Our text that we are going to be considering is in the, the book of uh, Luke chapter 2. And I'm going to read from verse 8. Luke chapter 2 from verse 8. And there were in the same country shepherds abided in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born in the, this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord had made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And, they, and when they had seen it, they made known abroad the same which was told them concerning this child. And they and all they that had it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Amen. Amen. So, Evangelist Mommy Are, can you just uh, elaborate a little bit about Christmas to our listeners today, uh, those who are watching this program? I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. This morning, I pray that what we are going to say, you will benefit from it and your life will never be the same. Amen. 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 Um, the ancient Egyptians, they looked down on shepherds. And if we look at Psalm 23, the Lord is our shepherd. Mm. So here, we see that the angel appeared to the shepherds. And so whatever you may be doing, what kind of work you may be doing in this world, God can use you. Mm. God used the shepherds 
to proclaim the birth of Jesus Christ. When the angel appeared to them, they were afraid. But the angel told them not to be afraid. So when God calls you to do anything, do not be afraid. Mm -hmm. He's there to support you. Mm -hmm. Because of this good tidings, which is Jesus Christ that came to this world. The first Adam, which is uh, the first Adam, which is uh, um, Adam in the Garden of Eden, we were separated from God. But when the second Adam came, which is Jesus Christ, we are able to talk to God by ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, this good tiding is for you and me. Know Christ and make him known to others. Amen. This time of the year is not about the gift. It's not about the dress that you put on, but to spread the gospel. So I want you to think about what God has done for you. The first thing that is very special to us is the birth of Jesus Christ. And you should do the same thing that the shepherd did. They went out and talked about Christ. So today, not the gift that you receive or you give somebody, you need to go out there and talk about Christ. So may the Almighty God help us so that we know what we are created for, to worship him and spread the gospel. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you for that contribution. Uh, Reverend Mrs. Arawalo, amen, it's up to, over to you now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord and we thank him for the joy of Christmas. You know, when Christmas is around, there is joy in the air, mm -hmm. there is love, there is all that pertains to life and godliness. Even as small children, we look forward to Christmas a lot because we know, number one, you are going to get new clothes. Mm -hmm. That's part of the joy for us as children. Mm -hmm. You're going to eat a lot of rice and chicken, mm -hmm. which were delicacies mm -hmm. in those days. And you meet old friends, people that you haven't met all through the year, they will travel and come home and we meet together. We know that is physical joy, part of it. But like the evangelist said, the greater one is that joy of salvation. Mm. Salvation that Jesus brings to us is because he was born that he could go and die for us and would by, the, by, by his death and resurrection have the new life, the life of God in us. And from where we read, where uh, Pastor read to us, we can see that the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ brings salvation. Mm -hmm. Then we know from that passage that whatever God says, it will come to pass. Mm -hmm. The shepherds found out that what God said came to pass. So whatever good thing, whatever the Lord is saying, it will come to pass. So we can depend and hold on to the word of God. And then, the, this is the season of good tidings, of great joy. Mm -hmm. The shepherds, they didn't keep it to themselves alone. So the onus is on us now, having received this message of goodwill and peace, we should go out and share. Even as we're celebrating Christmas, as we're expectant of the year 2024, and by the grace of God, we'll all cross over. Mm -hmm. We'll get into 2024. Mm -hmm. But the message to us is to carry this good news of the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ, of the purpose of his coming, which is the salvation of mankind, as recorded in that passage. That's the meaning of the name of Jesus. He shall save his people from their sins. He has come to save us from our sins. So let's go out, tell people, about the salvation that the Lord Jesus Christ has brought to us so that the joy will continue to multiply from place to place, from nation to nation, 
from people to people. That's the essence of Christmas, to make Christ known. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we, today we bring you good tidings of great joy, no matter what you, where you are, what you're not from. Christ was born for you and I. He was born for the Africans. He was born for the Europeans. He was born for black, white, green, yellow, everybody. It says, it's, uh, uh, I bring you good tidings of great joy. We shall be to all people, either they are rich or poor, great or small. You know, the, the message is for everybody. The blessing is for everyone. So we just wish you Merry Christmas from IWC here in California, United States of America. And we're saying Merry Christmas. Amen. Amen. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. We wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in Jesus' name. Amen.